you're watching Hot Ticket, your source for what's happening in Hampton Roads. I'm your host, Michelle Seeger. In a region with a plethora of fun things to do, the USO's Warrior Week has the distinction of being a truly one-of-a-kind event. Karen Lacari and Paula Moran of the USO of Hampton Roads in Central Virginia are here to really tell us why that is. Now, the uniqueness of Warrior, event, Warrior Week is very connected to your mission. Tell us it about is. that. Absolutely. Well, we like to say that the USO lifts the spirits of America's troops and their families. We are all about quality of life, home away from home. When you walk into one of our many USO centers, we're the largest chartered center group in the world, and we have 11 centers throughout Hampton Roads in Central Virginia, you're supposed to feel like you're home. You'll be greeted by volunteers and or your center director who will immediately tell you where everything is and make you feel good about it. Um, another thing we do is lots of special events throughout the year and it's not just about the troop members, it's about their families as well. We're there to support everyone. Yeah, I mean that's really central to Warrior Week. Absolutely, absolutely. So tell us about some of the events that the families and, and the troops will be able to participate in. Um, we have quite a few um, activities. We bring um, the wounded and ill and injured and their th caregivers and their families in from all over the country. Um, and they can pick from a menu of items to do. They're all therapeutic. Um, they go horseback riding. They go surfing. They go um, deep sea fishing. There's all kinds of things for them to do, all adaptive sports. Right, all of these adapted to mm -hmm. where whatever sort of injury or limitation you might That's have. Right. That's right. You're able to participate. Right. And, and as Paula family. said, for their family members as well. And so, I mean, really being able to do the things with your family that you might have been able to do before your injury. That's right. What a nice thing to be yeah. able to do. And research has shown that the best way to heal, both from the invisible wounds of war as well as the obvious ones, is physical activity. The research is there. We're trying to just ramp it up a little bit and make it celebratory in nature. Yes, so, I mean, this Warrior Week celebration, what else is going on in the, in the celebration? I've heard there's the whole village of cool events going on there. We do. We have the military village, which will bring, in fact, if you're there, you will feel like you were maybe someplace in the Middle East, because it's on the sand, after all, mm -hmm. at the beach. <laughs> uh, this is all taking place between 16th and 21st Streets um, at the ocean front, and there will be lots of military equipment. The LCACs will be there. Um, people will be able to get a real first-hand look at what's going on. And then, of course, we have all kinds of additional uh, entertainment that will be going on. We do. At 17th Street is, is the um, USO Patriot park. Um, one of the things that we're real excited about is Vietnam War Memorial, Traveling Memorial, which is the wall that heals. It's a half size replica of the one in D.C. that will be down um, for the weekend. Um, we also have the Marine Corps Silent Drill um, uh, platoon that is going to be um, entertaining everyone. They're just awesome to see. Yeah. They're fabulous. So the USO Show Troop will be there that weekend. So it's a, it's a full um, weekend of activities both on the sand with all the military vehicles and in the 17th Street Park with the um, all the different other activities. And the Army and Navy bands will be there too, yes. so we're very, very excited about that. Yeah. And there are a few more musical acts as well. <laughs> there are. That weekend, um, the uh, Patriotic Festival is that weekend as well down at 5th Street Stage, Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday night. Um, Friday night is Chris Young. Um, Saturday night is Sam Hunt, and then Sunday is our favorite, I think, Big and Rich <laughs> on Sunday afternoon. With so. Cowboy Troy. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, so it should be lots of fun. And after the, the families, they, they do all the um, activities during the week, and then we bring them down there with us um, for the evenings for the concerts. So it's a full um, week-long party and, and a fun time for them. Yeah, and that week is June 1st through the 5th, correct? Yeah, June 1st is, is the Wednesday, yes, and that's when our um, activities start, and then the, um, the concerts are the 3rd, 4th, and 5th. Perfect, and yep. to kick it all off, the Ride to Recovery. It is. Ride to Recovery starts in, in D.C. Um, Ride to Recovery is also another adaptive um, sports program um, that the USO uh, works with all over the country. Um, and they all are on adaptive bicycles, and they'll start in Washington, D.C. on Memorial Day, and then they end up on Friday at Virginia Beach at, at Warrior Week. That's going to be so yeah. much fun. Ladies, thanks so much for being here. Thanks Thank for you. having us. Stay up to date as Warrior Week approaches by visiting usowarriorweek.com and check it out. For Hot Ticket, I'm Michelle Seeger. Shh.